Oh my god, you won't believe what I found. Kusano 59, rear camera root in the old label. It was the last one here. This could be like up to nearly 10 years old. They haven't sold in a long time. Now a good indicator of this would be to check the wrapper. Mildly golden on the wrapper here. Uh, smells of nice German chocolate in foot and feet smell. German chocolate. A little bit of a cedar aroma. So I'm going to cut it today. I'm at Tobacco Haven. In Brookline, New Hampshire. Wait a minute. I got a red hook. Mm. Nice cut. And nice straw. Draws a nice mustiness. German chocolate, cocoa, and mustiness. I'm gonna do a lighter this time, I think. I kind of like this. It's a soft light versus a torch. Smooth like butter right now. Nice toasty this off the draw right now. Mm. Nice toasty this off the draw with nice cream. Creamy cedar. Might have to touch it up a little bit more. But very nice taste from the get go. Very smooth, mild bodied at this time. I'm estimating maybe a mild to medium this is going to be. Creepiness off the foot. It tastes like a cigar that I had not long ago. I think it might have been a Cameroon. I don't know which one it was. But this retro hail reminds me. Reminds me of something I had. I just can't think of it. But it's a very nice burn so far. Overall even. Very nice notes, baby. White pepper right now. With some bitterness and mustiness. I don't know exactly what, but there are notes in this that are good, but a little different too. All right, I'm going to come back in a little bit and check back. Ten minutes in, I got about 
half an inch in about, I would like to say, with a nice even burn coming in nicely. I tasted citrus candies in here. Like those citrus candies I wasn't too crazy about growing up, but I like them in this taste and this flavor profile, though. And plus, I have this Red Hook IPA that I have... I have this Red Hook IPA. I'm drinking with it. $1.79. No tax. Again, yeah, it's just an overall smooth smoke. Um, Sometimes when you drink certain things, it brings the flavors out too. But yeah, by the time the forearm hits the ground, the ball has crossed the goal line. Excellent view, great shot. Kirk Cousins, some big time throws on this drive to help set this up. I don't know what it's bringing out now, though. Not a whole lot. It's just best to smoke the cigar and see what you pick up. Some some people believe certain things you drink with it bring the flavors out, and yeah, that could be depending, but. Sometimes not either. It just depends what you have. Uh, very good. It's like a citrus, like citrus candies with some cedar wood and a little bit of that. Um, mustiness but not in a bad way it's just a musty aged type cigar with cedar wood in it it's maybe a little peanut butter I don't know maybe a little peanut buttery hint it's a, it's a mild cigar so far in here Razor sharp bird, nice construction. You can tell this is a good Cusano right here. One of his good series, but it's got the old label on it. The cigar's old, I'm pretty sure. The retro hail is very pleasant and smooth. And so is the draw. This is an overall nice smoke for the money. Four ninety nine. I mean, I go through the cheaper ones that I think are going to be decent before I move up in price. That's typically how I go. So uh, I'm going to shut this off and come back in a little bit. Updating the flavor profile is it tastes like coconut. Coconut has come into the flavor now, along with the citrus candy and cedar profiles. Very nice, mild, smooth flavors, but flavorful too. It's very, very. This is an enjoyable smoke. It doesn't have way too much strength on it, but it isn't weak either. It's got some flavor in here. There's a little bit of that lemony, that lemon taste, but with some coconut in here too. It's very flavorful. And a bunch of sweet cream coming in now. Nice sweet cream citrus and banana on the retro hail right now. So it's developing some flavor in here. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, I taste banana in here now, especially through the retro hail.
Absolutely. It's tough to put down. That's any indication now. Coconut on the draw. Oh, the regular draw. Banana in the retro hail, and then the seed of taste in the retro hail, and on the regular draw. And some other creaminess too, like maybe cream, sweet cream. This is not by any means a bad smoke at all, and it's bird and razor shot. So that's the review right now. I'll come back in a little bit. Okay, I am back, and I'm about 30 to 35 minutes in. I'd like to go with 35 minutes in right now. I just see the head. The ash is burning very nice on this, very razor sharp. Uh, but it's going well. The retro hail still has that nice, sweet, cream smoothness. Now it's like an ice cream powder through the retro hail. Like, you know that smell when you go into an ice cream place? You smell the ice cream. That kind of smell. That kind of taste going through the retro hail. And a little nutty taste, a little bit of an almond coming in. The coconut has disappeared on the draw now. Um, so a lot of nice flavors still in this. There's a bit of a sweetness, like a bubble gum with an ice cream power through the retro hair. That's what's coming through now. But it's sweet. This is a sweet cigar. But it's not sweet in the syrupy molasses sense, though. Maybe there's a little brown sugar, too. But A little bit of brown sugar. Brown sugar is in here on the draw. With some almond. So this is a definite flavor bomb. It's not a power bomb as far as strength. It's... Mild to medium, right about now. There's a little bit of oil right over here. The oil is forming. It's a very good cigar. I, I lucked out. The last cigar of this kind mixed in with some of the other Cusados. So this is the last one that I got. And it's mine. And it smokes very well. So there. Okay, I am over halfway in with an ash this long. I haven't had this happen in a while, I don't think. So when it happens, it's a good thing. Nice flavors in this cigar. <laughs> the banana has disappeared out of the retro hail now, it looks like. Maybe slightly it's there, with more of a toasted banana bread taste, is what the raw banana turned into, a toasted banana bread. Maybe a little hint of black pepper in there. <laughs> it dropped. 
This is the place though. They got the Celtics, they got Scarface on the wall, Rocky Patel, a couple of others, Bud Light. The humidor room is over in there. And I'm watching the TV news. I'm an old person. I watch the news every day. Huh? Cheers. Now the TV. This is a nice room. The largest humidor in New England right here. Tobacco Haven. Brookline, New Hampshire. Now I taste a toasted coconut also with the toasted banana bread through the retro hail. Everything's toasted. What it used what flavors I tasted before are there still, but they're toasted like they're cooked flavors of those kinds. <laughs> and that ice cream parlor taste through the retro hail has come back. Just give it a little breather, do it again, and some of those flavors can come back. This is a very decent cigar. I would even pick the new edition up just as easily, but it's nice when you get an old one too, you know. I know there's a new edition of it. I looked it up. It's got a blue 18, and it's like a blue logo for the Cameroon one. The rear Cameroon, and this tastes like a rear Cameroon, indeed. They are right about that. It's not false advertising. But this place doesn't have a very good connection. There's no service, so I really can't share it at this time. But now it's coming up to the band, so it's about time to remove that band. Right here. And I got Red Hook IPA, Long Hammer IPA. It's a state line shop, so everyone they cross the border to save money on their cigarettes because of the no tax. Living in Mass, I used to go to Iowa, it's up in Hudson. But I don't live over there now or too close to that. I'm over here now. So. But when I lived in the area before, I lived in Mass, and I used to come here all the time to New Hampshire to buy smokes. Now I'm living up here. I just didn't want to live in Mass again because there's just too many sad memories of family passing away. It just would bring back sad reminders. I wanted to start fresh but be near everything. You know how that goes. I don't care who watches. I just talk into the camera and see who writes me. Whether there's going to be trolls or whether there aren't going to be. I like to just talk generally and see who writes. That's how this channel goes right here. Because not many people view it. I get some, but not a lot. But it's a slow smoking experience that's not quick. I talk sometimes in my videos. You know, I might be tasting a little bit of cooked onion. I'm not quite sure through the draw. You know, maybe cooked caramelized onion, kind of like when you get fajitas in the draw now. But I'm going to shut it off. I might update you in a little bit. Okay, I am back, and now I'm up to here. I'm about an hour, at least, I'm thinking now, close to an hour and a half. I don't time it perfectly. I just go with my intuition with how long I feel I've been smoking it for. Some of it's peeling a little bit at this point, but not too, too much. 
but a nice even burn. This is a great friggin' buy for $4.99 here where most of the cigars are at least $7 or up. And I got the mac and the mac and noodles in here for over seven. I'll have to try that one of these days. If I can review it, depends on the amount of people. If there's a lot of people in here, I'm not gonna bother reviewing it. I'll take pictures and post it on Facebook or something. Or I could do a bunch of pictures of cigars I've smoked in the last month or something. I'll think of something new to do. New locations, sometimes you do new things. But very good smoke. It has some of the same flavors. They're, they're mostly dissipating now from what I see. Unless I look for them heavily, maybe. <laughs> I taste a heavy black pepper now with some uh, spice on the retro ale. All those other flavors have dissipated. Now it's a natural tobacco and black pepper in the cigar. And some spice. Maybe oregano. Yeah, tastes a little bit of oregano, maybe clove. Clove, too. Yeah, coriander, maybe. Very good smoke. Highly recommend it. So yeah. At this point, it's like a um, spice, black pepper. It's um. It's very nice, but a lot of the flavors have dissipated, but you still taste them. They just transition into oregano, black pepper, and coriander, stuff like that. Clove, whatever the clove spice. I think it's coriander or something. Still very good, but it is shifted. Okay, that is the final review. I'm shutting it off for good now. Talk to you later, and good night, everyone.